Hi, creative coders, and welcome back to Let's Code with Katie. Today, I'm going to be introducing you to new props and a new command that you can use in CodeSpark Academy to make your own code traptions. A code traption is a crazy machine, basically complicating something that's fairly easy in such a cool way that it's fun to watch. Here's our example. There's the star, there's Professor Looney Bubbles, and if I jump a couple times, I get the star. So as you can see, it's a fairly easy and straightforward level. But what if it wasn't? Let's find out. I've added to this scene something that I like to call a punch box. Now the punch box is like a door in that it opens and closes, but when it opens, when it, bumps anything, it lets out a boxing glove that punches what's ever in front of it. So I'm going to get this punch box to punch a marble to roll around in this track. So let's add a marble in. It'll hit that marble. I'm gonna press play, I'm gonna see what happens here. So this, Professor Looney Bubbles hits the box and it makes that marble go around the loop. Alrighty, let's make this more complicated. Back to edit mode. I want the marble to hit something and that should cause a chain reaction that does something else that does something else. So let me add in a couple of dominoes. I used to love playing with these when I was a kid and they're fairly easy to use. The thing I like about them for code traptions is you can use them to create a chain reaction to move the force of the machine forward. So I have my dominoes here and they're gonna be hit by the marble, but when they're hit by the marble, I want them to hit a little red button on the wall. Let's hit play. I hit the punch box, marble, dominoes, bam. But the button didn't do anything. Let's try fixing it. So the button, I'm gonna add the code when, when touched by tire, because the dominoes are sorted under the tire in the inventory, it's going to shout. Now, one of our new things that we just added with code traption is four new shout parameters. When the domino hits the red button, it's going to shout red button, but a button doesn't just press, right? To make something do something. So let's say I want this little red button to turn on some music. So here's my music player, and I'm gonna when say when it something. hears the red button being pressed, it is going to play sound. There we go. If this is playing sound, we need somebody to listen to the sound. How about this little tabby here? Now I wanna code it. When it hears the red button, when it hears it's something. going to start walking to the right. Now I'm going to add a couple more components to this crazy code traption. I'm gonna add a beach ball. And I'm going to add this, the target. I'm going to move the target like this. And when it is touched by a tire, because again, the beach ball is part of that tire set, it's going to shout exclamation mark. Alrighty. So let's see, we got punch box, marble, dominoes, button, cat, beach ball, and then it shouts, hmm. Alrighty, now we've done this entire crazy thing and all we've gotten is for the target to shout exclamation mark, right? But you've seen that when the red button was pressed, it shouted and other objects in the scene were listening for that shout to start moving. In the same way, we can have the punch box listen to the shout event. I know what to do. When it hears exclamation mark, we're going to rotate it. So instead of me having to jump up into the star, the punch box will just punch me into the star. Here's our new rotate command. It looks like a brick that's rotating. You have a couple options here. You have rotate a little bit to the left, rotate all the way around to the left, rotate all the way around to the right, or rotate a little bit to the right. Here we want it to rotate to the left twice. And that should get it to face me. And what I want to do is close it. So that'll put the boxing glove back in the box and then rotate twice. And then I want it to open. Alrighty, the final piece of the puzzle. 
that should be a complex code traption to get Professor Looney Bubbles up to the star instead of having her jump. Let's try it out. I press play, I step on the punch box, marble, dominoes, red button, boom box, the cat, the beach ball, and the beach ball hit the target. The target told the punch box to rotate and pow. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a code traption, something you could have easily done by just jumping a couple of times, but you made a crazy code traption to make it more complex, but also more fun. Woo! I hope you guys really love the new props that we added and the new rotate command. Go ahead and try and make your own code traptions. I dare you to make the most complex code traptions you can to solve the simplest problems. What do you think you can create? Until next time, keep coding, keep creating, and keep playing. See you next time. Bye.